I think we're almost live. <laughs> we're just waiting in the back end. Um, come on. I think we're there. We okay. are. There we there are. There we are. Okay. Hey, it's Elka and Jen. We are here for another motivational moment, and we have a quote today from Winston Churchill. Mm -hmm. And th why are we doing these things? Okay. Well, we work online. We make our. We have a business that we work from. Uh, that we've created online for over 10 years. We've been very successful at it. We're awesome. Uh, to, <laughs> we're in an we're awesome. sorry, we're in an awesome spot right now because of COVID-19. Yeah. Unfortunately, not a lot of others are. And so what we're doing is trying to give back because that's part of what our philosophy is in our business. We love creating um, like wealth online, but we use that wealth to our uh, like to do good things. So. Mm -hmm. We give back like when we're we we both have books out we've got our book sales that we're taking all the money from our book sales we're putting it towards certain organizations and we're like doing some fi financially things like that we're also just giving back to the community in various ways in our local community but here because we have international students all over the world this is one way that we can give back to everyone all at once and that is to just burst uh, like burst of energy burst of energy i'm so excited today um, we just, we don't just, we want to help you feel good just even for a couple minutes. We usually go under 10 minutes and we talk about a quote, figure out what it means to us, how it means to like what changes and things have we realized based on this quote yeah. um, because of COVID-19. And we hopefully have you leaving in a better spot mindset wise after watching. So I'm excited about today's <laughs> quote. What okay. you're smiling because yes. I just went. <laughs> I'm, I'm on a high here. I just I just heard some amazing news that one of our students has made the most money she's ever ever made on Zazzle. And she's been on Zazzle forever. Yeah. But with all of our um, teachings and everything, she has just flourished and it's just uh, now testimonial of how I'm just so excited. <laughs> anyway, go for it. You tell us the quote. Success. This is the motivational moment, not, not something else. <laughs> Success is not final. Failure is not fatal. It is the courage to continue that counts by Winston Churchill. Mm -hmm. So success is not final. Failure is not fatal. It is the courage to continue that counts. What do you want to say? I think that this quote is amazing. <laughs> hey, Emily. <laughs> First of all, it breaks it down for you to, in terms of your definition of what you achieve or if you don't, or what you don't achieve. A lot of us are, um, we, we designate our successes and our failures as either success or failure. And it's kind of like a fine line, like failure is one way or success is another, and there's no in between. But this is telling you basically success is not final. So if you succeed at something, it doesn't mean that actually that's the end. It's a great job that you did, but it's not your end on the end to what you're doing. And, and then failure. Maybe, maybe also not the, like it's not assumed that you can have that forever, right? Yeah, that too. So okay. your success is, something that's defined as you did a good job and now it's either the next level or it's never going to be there forever as you mentioned like you can have um you can you know get a new job and you can have a certain amount of income coming in but that means that because you were successful at getting that new job it doesn't mean that that income is always going to come in no matter what or anything else in terms of your life you can be successful at something but it's only in that moment or a certain time period in the future but it's never final mm -hmm. yeah. as it is uh, failure is not fatal because failure actually we we associate failure with something bad and something negative but it's actually a very yeah. in it's a learning experience for us if we don't fail we never learn how to do it better or how to actually succeed so failure is actually not fatal for us everyone thinks that failure is something that you know, only failures do, or that if you're a failure, you can never be something better or be a better person. And because of this society um, that we've just like, we've created for ourselves where people think that if you are a failure, you're never going to be 
um, a person who can make a lot of money or you can never be smart or successful or you can never get the, the right partner in life or the, the right car or the right house because you're a failure. Failure is actually how people got to those places because mm. they realized that a certain job didn't work for them or that they weren't making enough money or they realized that a partner was actually not the person that they needed to be with because they just didn't gel together. So they got the perfect partner by finding out the way that, you know, through process, <laughs> trial and error, basically. So failure is actually something that helps us with stepping stones yeah. and moves forward. I like that how, can I interrupt? Yeah. I like how the, um, uh, like fa the fatal ver word is in there because that's what we always consider, right? Like failure, even just once you've done like a ton of things that are successful, then you've done one fail, uh, get one failure and everything is ruined yeah. or everything is like negated. It's like, well, what about the things you did right? Um, but it's just the way we've been brought up and also the way uh, society has trained us that we cannot fail. But mm -hmm. that's the weirdest thing is like every successful person that you ask, how did you get there? Well, I did a lot of failures and thank God one of them worked and that's now why you think I'm successful. Yeah. And it's like, what's the quote? Where yeah. It's like I tried a million times and or well, I'm making this up, but it was, it's along the same lines where I did yeah. this a thousand times and yeah. it was just that one time that worked, right? Yeah, thank God it worked. Now you think I'm I'm like a brilliant person, but really they had to try so many times. Edison obviously tried many, many times before he invented the light bulb, same sort of thing. And what I like too, that the word fatal is in that, just that quote, because most people think, okay, that's it. My life is over. I, it's, I'm mortified. I'm, uh, it's, you know, it's the end of the world. Mm -hmm. Nothing's ever going to be successful in my life ever again. And, but it's not like the only thing is that's, you know, you, you, you didn't, succeed that's it that's not the failure is just doing something in a way that doesn't actually work but that doesn't mean that another way will um also be a failure and it's not like a, not a predictor of a future event and it's not um it's just an indicator of this particular action did not work mm -hmm. which is awesome and i think too failure is not the opposite of success no no because you see it's like black and white or no. right and wrong. It's not. Success is one thing and failure is another thing that actually helps you get towards success. Yeah. And the opposite of success is, can you guess it? It's not trying, mm -hmm. right? Failure is not the opposite of success. And that's where the courage comes in to continue. Because <laughs> <laughs> we have to get to that part of the statement. Okay. So go for it, courage. So the courage is the courage to continue that counts. So your courage that gets you up and picks you back up. And when it says, like, when you fall down, get back up and try again, or, you know, I can keep going, or um, it's you miss 100% of the shots that you don't take, it's the fact that if you have the, cur the courage to continue to keep trying things, whether it be a success or a failure, that's the most important thing because you're getting somewhere, you're moving yourself towards that outcome, no matter whether it be a failure or a success, because in the end, both of them are going to be successes because you're learning from one and you're learning from the other to actually bring yourself back up again. Yeah. And just one will achieve more of what you actually wanted rather than what you didn't expect. And that's it. Yeah. So I love that because for me, like I'm a perfectionist and I was just constantly always trying to get that success and success was how I define success. It wasn't actually like what really happened when you, even when you look at a failure, it might actually be a success in disguise. Mm -hmm. And yeah, it's not fatal because John said you're learning from it, but also it could actually be a, a, a result that will end up being actually something better than you expected. It's not even a failure. It's just a different result that's a different type of success that you I, didn't actually define. Yeah, I call them happy accidents. <laughs> yeah, happy accidents. <laughs> Happens to everyone all the time, right? And then you go, you change your perspective, and all of a sudden, that's failure is actually a success. Mm -hmm. And that's why, but I love the part at the beginning where success is not final. We have to constantly, constantly be growing and thrive, yeah. like to thrive, right? Growing, teaching ourselves things. It's just like your body, right? If you don't exercise, your mus muscles atrophy. Well, so does your brain. So does your, ex so do your experiences, right? If you don't continue to have um, that surge or excitement to try and keep striving for success of whatever it may be, even just 
getting a shower in during the morning <laughs> these days, then you have, um, you're going backwards and we want you to keep moving forwards. And that's why we picked this quote for today. Have the courage to keep moving forward. And that's what, what counts. So yes. thank you so much for watching. Bye. We'll see you tomorrow for another motivational moment.